This is the regular meeting of the uh, Village of Leonard. Today is January the 9th, 2023. I want to welcome everyone, wish everyone a happy new year. Um, do have a bit of a sad note. Uh, we haven't met uh, at a regular meeting. Uh, we had the passing of a uh, longtime resident, Marlene Malia, uh, earlier in December. So uh, condolences go out to the family there. With that, I'd like to ask everyone to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the brief invocation uh, from Jude. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Lord, be with us as we do this meeting for the village residents. Guide us to make good decisions for everybody. Be with the Malaya family, as I'm sure this is a tough time for them. In your name we ask, amen. Thank you. We have a roll call for attendance of the council. Lori, please. Sure. President McDonald. Here. Alex Kennedy. Here. Ivan Pelichick. Here. Jennifer Swack. Here. John Hawkins. Here. And we know for the record that both Clerk Lori Zelena and Treasurer of the Universe are present. The Council has before it the regular meeting minutes of our December 12th meeting um, in held last year, 2022. Are there any questions, changes, or corrections? If none, a motion to approve would be in order.
like to make a motion to approve and file the treasurer's report for December 2022. I'll second that. We have a motion and a second to approve the treasurer's report for December of 2022. Any questions on the motion? Hearing none, uh, if you have a little call on that, please, Lori. Mm -hmm. Swat? Yes. Kennedy? Yes. Fellowship? Yes. McDonald's? Yes. Coffin? Yes. Okay. The treasurer's reports are approved and filed. Uh, council will, will find in the packet um, budget adjustments uh, to our 2022-2023 budget. Um, this is to bring our budget into balance as well as to fund categories where we could potentially exceed our original allocation. So, um, I'll read the adjustments. Uh, the following adjustments are needed for income. We need to increase the inspectors line item, the permit bonds line item, and the miscellaneous. Um, the inspectors would be $4,000, the permit bonds would be $2,600, and the miscellaneous would be $7,000. This results in a change in our overall budget income to a total of $266,387.24. Following are the adjustments needed for the general fund expenses to increase inspectors by $4,000, permit bonds by $2,600, and miscellaneous by $7,000. This results in a change in our overall expenses to a total of $266,387.24. Following changes need to be made in general fund expenses by category uh, to increase legal by $6,000 to increase administrative assistant by $800 and the clerk's phone by not to $925. In turn, we would decrease the insurance uh, by $5,000, um, decrease dues and seminars by $1,000, decre uh, decrease employee tax by $800, and decrease clerk's office expense by $925. These adjustments do not change the total budget. They're just uh, category, categorical changes. The following are the adjustments needed for the major fund expenses by category. To increase gravel by $1,400 and signs by $5,200 and then to decrease uh, in other words, that money would come from blacktop repairs of $1,400 and pavement markings of $5,200. How much would that leave in blacktop repairs? How much would it leave? Yeah. Um, Here. There, there's a sheet attached to it that shows the adjustments. <clears throat> Black tax repairs is under routine maintenance and it changes from ten thousand down to uh, eighty six hundred. Okay. But those are done for the year. We're not going to be probably doing any more black tax repairs for this budget. Okay. So yeah. Our, this budget that we're amending is for the past year. Yeah. yeah. It'll be completed February twenty eighth. Yeah. Less than twenty eighth. Okay. But I just want to make sure that, that we weren't going to uh, hang ourselves for next year. We appreciate that. And you'll see in the proposed budget. Okay. Okay. And then um, the following are the adjustment needed for the local fund expense by category. Increase grading by $50 and decrease dust control by $50. These changes to the major and local accounts do not make to not make a change to the budget in amounts. In other words, the budget remains balanced. So those are the recommended adjustments uh, to the current budget. Are there any questions on them? If not, a motion to uh, make those amendments would be in order. I have a motion to make budget adjustments as presented for the, uh, for the year 2022 to 2023. Okay. Also perfect. Okay, thank you. We have a motion and a second 
to make the budget adjustments as presented for the 2022-2023 current budget. There any questions on the motion? Do we have a roll call, please, Lord? McDonald? Yes. Hawkins? Yes. Black? Yes. Belichick? Yes. Kennedy? Yes. Okay. Motion carries. Thank you. Okay, moving on now, we'll pay the bills uh, for the village. Uh, you have in front of you two, two payment groups, one for November of 2022 and the second for December of 2022 um, in the amounts shown. Are there any questions or corrections on the November 2022? 2022 accounts payable. Just a correction between the accounts payable record and the, the local on the agenda. Uh, okay. Next. It's um, 10 cents. And I'm going to assume that the accounts payable is the correct number. Which, which one's wrong? The, the local. Is listed as 4531.09 and then 4531.19 on the oh, yeah, the typo. It's yeah. 19. Correct. Okay. So I'll, I'll make a motion to okay. pay the bills in the amount of general $11,826.74, major $7,223.93, local $4,531.19. Okay. And Miller Park Recreation, $195. Let's put that. Okay, so we have a motion by Trustee Swack and a second by Trustee Hawkins with, with the correction, with the correction. To, with the correction it's just to the amount. Are there any questions on the motion? Hearing none, uh, we have a roll call to pay the bills for November and the, the amount stated. Belichick? Yes. Swack? Yes. Hawkins? Yes. Kennedy? Yes. McDonald? Yes. Okay, so that uh, November bills will be paid, or uh, have been paid October, or not October, December 2022 are now under consideration. Are there any questions, changes, or corrections on those? No, I'm going to make a motion to pay the bills for December 2022 in the amounts of general. $8,756.38, major $542.26, <coughs> local $400, and Miller Park $0. All support. Second. We have a motion and a second to pay the accounts payable in the amount stated for December of 2022. Are there any questions on the motion? Hearing none, can we have a little call to pay those bills? McDonald? Yes. Kennedy? Yes. Swag? Yes. Hawkins? Yes. Belichick? Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, at this time in the meeting, um, we offer an opportunity for the public to address the village council. If you have any questions or comments, um, please wait to be recognized by the chair and then um, speak uh, briefly and to your point and be aware that um, if you are here about an item on the agenda, and under new business or old business, you will have an opportunity to speak to that at that time. Anybody care to address the Women's Council at this time? Hearing none, we'll move on to new business. Um, at this time, I'd like to offer the Village Council um, my recommendation for the Village President Pro Tem, and that would be Alex Kennedy. Um, he has served, as you all know, or most of you know, for several years now in that capacity, and um, I'd like to uh, see continue that. I'll do my best. I know you will. We know you will, Alex. We <laughs> um, brought that out last time. It was here. It's checked it. So. Would there be a motion to make that appointment? I will make a motion to appoint Alex Kennedy. President Pro Tem. I'll second that. Thank you. So we have a motion and a second to appoint uh, Village Trustee 
Alex Kennedy as Village President of Hotel. Are there any questions on the motion? All those in favor of the motion, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, please say no. Okay, motion carried. Thank you, Alex. Appreciate it. Okay, uh, the second item on our agenda is the adoption of the uh, standard mileage rate for reimbursement for business use of village officials and uh, operators uh, working for the village. Uh, the federal standard is 65 and a half cents per mile uh, for, driven for business use, which is up three cents uh, from the mid-year rate adopted in the second half of 2020. We, we never adopted the mid-year no. rate. So the last rate we had was 58 times. Okay. So it's actually, it appears a larger increase. That's fine. Right. Okay. So, Let's make a motion to adopt the adjusted rate of 65.5 cents. Okay. Okay, we have a motion and a second to authorize the IRS mileage rate of 65 and a half cents per mile for those business. Are there any questions on the motion? Hearing none, can we have a roll call please for that? Hawkins? Yes. Black? Yes. Belichick? Yes. Kennedy? Yes. Yes. Okay, motion carries. Thank you. Okay, um, the last item under new business is the proposed budget, which council members got their first look at just just now, literally. Um, Do you want a copy of that? It's in your. Do you want a copy? It's not in there. Of the what? The proposed, the proposed budget. budget. Do you want a copy of Oh, sure. 24. Yeah. 24. Oh, I know. A little hitch in the video. Yeah. Oh, and I'm holding a snatch of copy. I want to. Is that too right? Yeah. Okay, uh, there are no great surprises or changes in this. Um, Basically, we're recommending uh, pretty much the same expenditures. Um, some of them do reflect the changes that we made this year, that, that we saw this year, especially in the building department, which is really a balanced budget. We're, by law, we can't charge more than what it costs us to operate the department for the residents. So those numbers have changed, and then, um, you will recall that we, the Oakland County Commissioners generally have been having a um, Oakland County Local Road Improvement Program that we have participated in all but one year. And um, we never set aside a budget category for that. So that has been included in your proposed budget as well. And then um, finally, uh, the only places that I foresee any uh, potential major expenditures will be in, with sidewalks and potentially park improvements this year. Um, we st we're still hoping to finish our um, park improvement, you know, park improvement grant, and we also have the infrastructure grant for the sewer study. Um, but those are projects that are already underway and are already partially paid for as well. So um, at this point, uh, that's that's where the big change, any any changes would appear there. But now I'd like to have feedback from the council members if there's anything. Um, Alex, you're always good for roads. Do uh, you see anything? Uh, Potential problems there. I mean, how, do you know what we spent this year on the black dot repair? Not a lot. We bought, I think we bought one load of, uh, one large load of black top. Um, for coal patch. For coal patch, right. Um, and we 
uh, bought grant, we did buy grant. Some of the grant money came from the local road improvement program, sure. and some of it came just from our own funding funds. Just because I saw uh, for the 2023-2024 budget, we did keep 8600 as the budget for flat half repair. Right, and we only used 258 dollars. Well, we can spend more than what we budgeted if we have to. Let's put it that way. Blacktop is tricky. Uh, oh, yeah. If we, if we do want to have crack sealing done, we'll, we'll need to get that figured out real quick. Um, and that, that will probably force us to increase the amount of money uh, for that category. Unless we just do it now. And if we we have to rob from Peter to pay Paul, so we have to take it out of out of one category and move it into that category if that's uh, and honestly we've gone uh, a full year without having any crack sealing done and both roads could probably use touch ups. Is that something that could be done in a year if we Well we wouldn't yeah, we wouldn't do it until it got warm. Yeah, well we could we could leave it because we're going to have to get quotes for it anyway. Right. So it may. I, I think we leave it as, as it is. Let's, let's see what maybe we focus on trying to get some quotes for it okay. this year. And I think we should probably let it go I'm good too much that. longer with, without sealing. I'm, I'm good with that. that. Yeah. And then we can make an adjustment as needed. Okay. Any other questions or comments? For these adjustments also made? Those are in the old book. I know, but do they? Yeah, they're reflected. They characterize. Yeah, reflect, they're reflected in there. Like Alex said, we lowered, oh, okay. we lowered the black top from 10,000 to 18,600.
at which time we can set a set our millage rate for this budget, which we are recommending the same rate as we have right now. There's no, no changes in that. So, um, and at the next meeting, we would have this. And at the next meeting, we would hold the hearing and then we can adopt our budget. Sounds good? Sorry, Alex, I should have loved it with that. Just trying to be efficient. It works. <laughs> okay. Um, I have one more question. Yes. Uh, the sanitation, uh, what sanitation expenses do we have? Is that for the study? No, I believe sanitation is probably for garbage collection. Oh, for the okay. actual collection. Oh. It's been going up almost 6% every year. It's really gotten, I mean, it's not because we're getting more residents. <laughs> I wish it was. <laughs> We've gotten a couple, but um, no, it's just the costs are going up. Is that across the board? I mean, other companies have all gone up, so yeah. there's no reason to look outside yeah. of who we have. Yeah, no. Um, there's almost no competition, though. That's, that's part of the problem. Mm -hmm. oh. so. And they didn't pick up our recycling. They did not last week? Did you call them? I did not. Okay. I'm mad. not saying it's not you, but, but, <laughs> but, but it, that really helps. I just got mad. Usually, usually if you call them, they'll send somebody out that day to pick it up. You know, I assume they were just, they had that, I saw that they had the divided truck. I assume they were full. And they just didn't make it back out or something. Like that. No, so we've, uh, we've had some mixed signals from them because they've been, they've collected uh, recyclables in a, in a big truck and then sent a divided truck yeah. around and only picked up garbage. I mean, it, it, okay. the, so the logic defies me. The last week they sent the full truck past our house, picked up all the recycling. And because I went, oh crap, I didn't get my recycling all the time. So I ended up pulling it out, both recycling and garbage out. And then when I got back home, I ran Home Depot, both of it was gone. So they, they had a divided truck running around too, so I had to right. Or they might have known the recycle was gone and put it in the trash. Who knows? I can't speak to what happened. Right, right. I just but know when I think it's gone. But we, we do, I, I generally, if I'm home, I check to see what's going on yeah. uh, because of the track record. But um, yeah, it really helps to call them. Okay. And then, of course, if they, don't, if they don't respond and pick it up, let me know what okay. the decision is. If it happens, yeah. it's, I don't yeah. think it's ever really happened. So it was just Christmas and boxes. It, it, wouldn't, be, <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. OK. Um, was there any more questions? All right, um, moving on, uh, I guess um, I'd like to ask for a motion to set, set the budget and truth and taxation hearing uh, for our February regular meeting. I'd like to make a motion to set a truth and taxation uh, for our February regular meeting. I support. Okay, we have a motion and a second to set the budget and truth and taxation hearing for our February regular meeting. All in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Opposed, please say no. Okay, the <coughs> motion carries. All right. Um, and then I can work with you, Lori, on getting the publication date and all that set up. Um, I'm going to do it tomorrow. <laughs> I'll go ahead and just get it done because of the deadline. Right. That way I don't have to like, worry about it. Right. Um, Although it does help to check prior to, just to make right. sure they've got it. I think it. that, yeah, Tuesdays, that yeah. has to yeah. be tomorrow. Cool. So, um, Sounds good. All right, awesome. Okay, uh, moving on, your, on to whole business. Um, sewer study update, uh, I really don't have one. Uh, we've done some background work, talked to, um, I had a, a Zoom meeting with uh, Department of Environmental Quality and our uh, row representatives, um, the outcome of which we were told we would get more support than we've been getting. And we're now in the second reminder letter asking them to send us the information that we requested and discussed at that original meeting. So uh, the more things change, the more they stay the same, I'm afraid. But we'll keep working at it. Um, uh, I did get an extension uh, through Oakland County 
for the infrastructure grant that, that we're using to cover this or cover half of this. So uh, we're, we're good on that. We have time to get the results. So. And then um, regarding the DPW, the um, hope is to get the rest of the Christmas decorations down uh, this weekend and do some patching and all filling around, around the village as well. Which which the snowflakes? I mean, they're snowflakes. They're generic. They don't have to come down. Well, wow. just the star and the wreath. And that's it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if he well, wants to break things up a little bit, if little the little weather little, permits. Right. I mean, you know, if, it's if not good for them to be out in the weather oh, okay. all that much. Okay. You know, though they don't last. They do. They do deteriorate. Okay. So. okay. Just want to give them a little relief right. if possible. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um, for my report. Um, we did not have any Freedom of Infant Information Act inquiries. Uh, we received no community development block grant applications. Um, I didn't work on any ordinance enforcement. And I wanted to make the council aware that um, we're going to be getting a, a bill shortly for, for, our mis, for our membership in Miss Ding. And I anticipate that it will be slightly higher than it has been through no fault of our own. Um, but I heard through the grapevine that uh, the organization is requesting a, a rate increase. So um, that will be reflected in our budget when we have to pay that, I guess. Okay, uh, moving on to the trustee committee report. Uh, Summer Festival Committee, I think that's, they're about, they're about ready to start back up. Cable Commission, have you seen their job? Uh, they haven't met since like November. Okay. Uh, decorating committee, Yvonne. Everything looked really great over the holidays. I mean, very much appreciated all the work. Yeah, we got it all down last week when it was kind of warm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, North Oakland Transportation Authority. Uh, the authority still has not gotten any further communication from Oakland County Transit about what they're doing, what we're going to do. We don't have a signed agreement. So we're basically waiting on them at this point to, uh, for the big change, if you would. The change really is only going to be in funding method. It's not going to be, our service lines are staying the same, same, you know, same uh, uh, transportation, uh, Net will be out there for our residents, but um, we're kind of hanging on the county at this point in time to get their act together because the, we expect our funding when we would normally receive it when we would have levied our millage. But <coughs> we did not levy because of the increased millage from the county. So that's where things are with that right now. Planning Commission. Did we pick, did we already cancel the January? already canceled the January. Okay, so there's nothing there. Yeah. We don't have anything, Judy, do we? No. Okay, okay, I should say. Um, Polyant Trail Management Council, there's a meeting. Uh, do we want to make a motion to cancel that meeting? No, I think it was it already was done. done last meeting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, Sorry. There's no one. I read that. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing new. There were some trees down uh, over the Christmas break that uh, uh, we worked on up uh, north of uh, north of Gerst Road on, on the trail. Uh, Village Park, uh, we've got nothing going on there at this point in time. And we still haven't got a community development block grant, have we, Judy? A report from the county. So. Still not getting one from what I heard. Whatever's going on with the system, they have not gotten it. It comes up all the time, and yeah, not uh, available for anybody. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have received no correspondence of no. So, does the council have any that you wish to bring forward at this time? Have we reached our last item? 
Volunteers? I have to like to make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> okay. Um, motion and a second to adjourn the meeting. Any questions on the motion? All in favor of the motion, please say aye. Aye.